Hello, uh, Michael Norton speaking from London, England. Uh, I'm delighted to give a testimonial on bone maintenance uh, in relation specifically to uh, the well-established osseous speed surface that was introduced many years ago as a modified version of the tire blast surface, first developed in 1991. Uh, as the very first microtextured grip blasted surface in implant dentistry. Osseospeed modified the tire blast surface by allowing the incorporation of fluoride ions into the titanium blasted medium, which was achieved through etching using hydrofluoric acid. And in numerous studies, uh, it was shown uh, well over a decade ago now, that this allowed for a more rapid uh, osseoconduction to the implant surface. So we were getting a higher rate of bone conduction in a shorter time with a, an, an increased uh, bone to implant contact. Hence the uh, tagline, more bone more rapidly. Um, however, it's taken until now, really, for someone to consider the possibility that perhaps we were overdue for a meta-analysis and systematic review of the three premium implant surfaces on the market. And uh, these kinds of studies are always very time-consuming uh, consuming and tedious. And so during COVID lockdown, I took to the task of looking at the influence of implant surface on maintenance of marginal bone levels for these three premium brand implants, those or surfaces, those being Tyunite, SLA or SL Active and Osseospeed. And the results were really uh, quite impressive. Uh, all three surfaces uh, within reason lost less than a millimeter of bone, except at the five year follow up for Tyunite. But there was a highly significant difference between osseous speed Tyunite and uh, SLA SL active, with the osseous speed surface demonstrating an incredibly stable bone level uh, over five years and a significantly lower bone loss at both timeframes. But perhaps what was more staggering was to look at the standard error of mean. When you looked at the mean values from the various studies in this uh, meta-analysis, uh, you can see on these scatter plots that there was quite a significant deviation between studies for Tyunite and a moderate deviation for SLA, SL Active. Yet for osseous speed, study after study after study from clinic after clinic after clinic in all parts of the world came up with almost identical results. So uh, osseospeed, it seems, was hitting the bullseye every time. And when one compares osseospeed to the other two, you can really appreciate the high predictability which uh, should translate to increased safety and confidence for both the clinician and the patient. And we know that osseous speed together with microthread is part of what we call this bone care concept, which gives us long-term bone maintenance. And in a new study that is in preparation, I've been able to look at over a hundred implants uh, followed up in a prospective manner from baseline to two year follow-up and you can see from these radiographs, which is pretty much every radiograph in the study, uh, and here are some more, that the bone maintenance around the osseous speed surface is really unparalleled. And so I think it's possible for me to say uh, with a great deal of confidence that osseous speed is the surface that will give you the best opportunity for maintaining marginal bone. And that in turn should give both the patient and the dentist confidence uh, for the future. Thank you.